to a blustery, drizzly Monday morning in March. It's a bit wet at the moment. Yeah, it's still, it is very wet. It's blowing quite, it's worse when we came out. But, uh... Sunshine and showers. enjoy this view it's just like the natural kind of framing of the trees it's like a postcard window to the world of the valley beyond and this is just a little bit further up the lane from where the livestock are and where our land is it's called Chirpit Lane and uh, the history of it is it was a horse and cart track they were using it for uh, taking chert which is a type of stone I believe um, sort of mining history. There's some really beautiful light around this morning, light and shade, sunshine and showers. I can't believe I'm going to say this, but we've had over 24 hours again of rain. I think like 30 to 40 millimetres of rain in the last day. Um, it's been awful, so I'm about to go outside. Battened down the hatches and I'm prepared to go into battle again with the weather. down now. Very blustery and windy and just generally unpleasant.
Right, we are back in the kitchen and this is Dale Farm, a piece of uh, possibly silver side, I think it is. And I'm going to slow cook it today with a variety of things and hopefully it'll turn out lovely. Hi, <laughs> okay, so the meat is going in the pan, top side. I'm gonna rinse my hands. And then I've got some finely sliced onions and I'm just going to put them all in like that so that the onions are like all around it. And then I'm going to put in, um, this is cumin, so I'm just going to put like a teaspoon of cumin and I'm just dusting it over like that. And paprika, same drill, just gonna dust it over. Big heap teaspoon of each. Just trying to keep it simple today. Then I've got hot water into make beef stock. I'm just gonna put in about a litre a litre pour that around the beef and let's put in some mustard about a heaped teaspoon again I'm gonna put a little bit of soy sauce because why not tomatoes, tin tomatoes, get it all out of the can and just a squirt or thereabouts of tomato puree, I forgot, garlic, oops, no, I've just helpfully spilled some. Yeah, garlic's going in. Okay. I love mixed herbs, so let's just go in there with freestyle herbs. I like to just make it up as I go along. And then we need salt and pepper, right? I'm just going to go for table salt because it's easier so just sprinkle over uh, I can always add more later and as you can see um, that all looks really nice ready to go and I'm just going to then pop the lid on and put it on a slow heat for um, a few hours So I've just come in from doing some jobs out on the campsite and oh, the smell has really kicked off with the beef since I um, left it. It smells really nice, um, but it's only been on for about half an hour. So probably at least three hours maybe until I lift the lid, four, five, six. I'll lift the lid about 6.30 tonight. Let's see what's going on. Looking good, but is it cooked yet? He wants to be sort of pulling apart. Okay, here it is. You can see it should be cooked now and there's just a little nibbly bit where I've had a bit tasted to see if it's done. So I'm gonna slice it up. So 
chips, shredded Highland beef with a nice reduced sauce. And that is one hearty bowl full. Thank you for watching. I'm going to finish the video there. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, please give the video a like or a comment and subscribe to the channel if you want to see more of what we're up to. We are nearly at lambing now, just a couple of weeks away when the content should get very exciting. Once again, thanks if you made it to the end and see you in another video soon. Bye.